lo-fi hip-hop it's a combination of hip-hop house and jazz and man isn't it just super sweet everybody loves it it's a style made famous by playlists like chilled cows lo-fi hip-hop music beats to relax and study to the music has a lazy and perfect feel that combines with mellow melodies distorted samples and ambient sounds like vinyl crackle and raindrops this creates a laid-back nostalgic vibe perfect for relaxing and studying Lo-fi is short for low fidelity. It refers to the imperfections in a recording or sampling. This gives the genre a homemade DIY feel. The track you can hear here, the track you can hear here, is made by my buddy Matt Hallam, which you can download for free in the description of this video. There's two versions: one with a click and one without. So take your pick. You need to assemble the sounds on your kit in a way similar to that of choosing samples on DAW software like Ableton. For my hi-hats I'm using the minor chingring to add some lo-fi ambience and texture. You can achieve similar effects with tambourines, chains and even car keys. I dampen the snare a little with some moon gel but a cloth or wallet can take this even further. Lastly I slapped a 10 inch splash that fits snugly in on my tom for some trashy percussive goodness. The key here is experimentation, cymbal stacks, shakers and anything that adds interest and texture. This is the starting point for the beat I used in this song. It's a nice simple two bar phrase with a few syncopated bass drums thrown in. We've got plenty of space for adding variation later on, but we've got enough interest to give us a little bounce. It's a good idea to learn your bass and snare pan independent of your hi-hats so you can mess around with them later. Lo-fi is played with a super lazy feel. In this track I'm swinging all the 16th notes in my hook but exaggerating the longer gaps. It gives you a real loose pulse and it's impossible not to nod along. There's a bunch of different swing types you can use like 8th triplets, dotted 8ths, quintuplets and 16th triplets. Getting this feel down is the most important part about playing lo-fi hip-hop. You really have to serve the music and don't play anything too crazy that will drag the listener out of their zen-like trance. The last step is adding some variation to your phrases. Here are some ideas that popped up whilst I was playing along to this track. This is a good chance to include all of that extra percussion that you added to your setup. Don't forget you can add some variation simply by taking away some notes. I like to rest the first beat of a new phrase and then whip the snare in on the second count to stress the secure backbeat you've been building throughout the song. Eighth triplets can work well in fills to shake up the rhythm a little and some embellishment on your hi-hats can go a long way. That wraps up this little overview of playing lo-fi hip-hop on acoustic drums. Don't forget you can download the backing track you heard in this video for free by checking out the link below. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you could leave a like and consider subscribing. Peace.